So the other day I talked about Duel. Now, so I'm talking about Steven Spielberg's second film, his first major pic motion picture, The Sugarland Express, from Universal, released March 31st, 1974, starring Goldie Hawn, direct and is obviously directed by Steven Spielberg, who, if you've been living under a rock, he's the one who's done like the film I talked about last time, Duel. He's also done Jaws, which I'm going to be reviewing short eventually. Same with BT, Jurassic Park. What about big ones? This had a budget of $3 million and it made $12 million at the box, which was like a moderate success back in the day. Um, Sugarland Express follows the story of there's this girl and she, who played by Goldie Hawn, who uh, finds out that her, like, husband or boyfriend or whatever is, uh, well, he's in prison, but she finds their child who's been taken away from them from child services because they're not fit parents. Um, yeah, so he's in foster, their kid's in foster care, and she finds out where he is, and she wants to go get him. And she convinces her husband, who's in prison, to le leave with their do the visiting gate. And so she breaks them out and they go on this crazy road trip down to Sugarland, which is the community the foster parents live in. So basically they go, they're just going to go get their baby back. And, uh, and it gets a little har harrowing and crazy, sort of like a Bonnie and Clyde type film. Um, but a little more family friendly. <laughs> um, yeah, so they first uh, convince uh, one of uh, the husband's friends who's in prison as well. So parents to drive them, and then they get pulled over driving too slow on the highway. And then they end up stealing their car, the older couple's car. And basically, they end up going on a high speed chase, driving off the road into like some like. Um, swamp looking place and uh yeah and then they decide to kidnap the sheriff they kidnap a sheriff and uh to get him to drive them to sugar land at gunpoint and then over the course of the film you have this massive journey with the whole house all the texas cops and stuff um, trailing them and uh, the sheriff and over time they slowly become like friends and a bit and you had a lot of good uh, family type dynamics and stuff like that while they're driving and stuff like that and they even uh, meet the most relaxed sheriff and who's uh, basically willing to play the game and uh, kind of like eases off and there's many times where they could have taken them by force which happens a lot nowadays, but back 70s, I guess, didn't. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it take, actually takes place in, like, the 50s or 60s. It's based on a true story, too. But, yeah, so the first, like, hour and 20 minutes or so is them just, like, traveling. <laughs> and then there's a lot of funny little bits of humor and stuff in there. And uh, it's a good, fun little watch. Um, it gets a little depressing near the end, but... It's definitely way different than I was expecting it to be. It's obviously not going to be super violent. It's a Steven Spielberg movie. and uh, But he focus, he likes to focus on more well-crafted characters to help move the story along than just a whole pile of like action and crazy uh, stuff. And that. So this one is very well done, I thought. I was way bigger, way... I like it way more than I thought I was going to, and uh, it's like it's nothing super super spectacular, but it's still a good film to just throw on and enjoy <laughs> every now and then. Um, yeah, there's not very much complaints. Like I kind of wish there was like a little more uh, action, maybe a bit in it, but like it was really funny watching. Uh, um, because near the end, as they get closer to them, the media gets wind of it, and all the people come out and support them and help them for the cause, bring gifts and everything like that. 
Something you would never see these days. So, yeah. It was an interesting little film. Um, I, and I think a lot more people should check it out. It's kind of gone on, like, the forgotten. <laughs> there not very many people's radar. So, that's why I'm talking about it today. Because I'm giving this one 4.5 out of 5. It's pretty well done. Just needs a little more excite, exciting scenes, I thought. For my liking, anyways. But... It's still a really good film. People should definitely check it out. Share this link down below like always. Also my Instagram is always linked down below as well. Where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. On my story. And also hide the title and the hashtag somewhere in the video clip. Just for fun. So if you want to see what I'm going to review next. Like the next ones are pretty big. So <laughs> probably won't need to do that. But at least follow me on Instagram so you stay in the loop. If you never know what I'm going to talk about next. Also, make sure you subscribe uh, because to hear about what I my op great opinions on all these weird movies and stuff. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it if you really want to. Uh, comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought. Did you absolutely love it like I did, or did you absolutely hate it? I'd love to hear about it. And also, if you have any films at all, any films at all, I'll watch anything. Uh, Comment them down below too. I'll try my hardest to get to them if I can find them and see them. <laughs> and I'll try my hardest to put the review up as soon as possible. So, yeah, but with that, definitely check out the Sugarland Express. Very underrated. Very well done. Well crafted characters and a fun ride. Alright, but tomorrow, or whenever I upload next, I'm going to do a big one. This one was groundbreaking in the film industry. And it scared a lot of people from going swimming in the ocean. So, I guess you'll have to wait and see what film I'm going to review next. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss it. And I'll see you in the next one.